Baseline was started in 1998 by a guy called Jonathan Muir. In about 2010, I think it was, he had had enough and he wanted to move on. And uh, we saw a good opportunity to take a hold of the store and then kind of reinvent it, if you like. And coming from skateboarding and traveling, I, you know, that's what I did pretty much my whole life. And I would go to all the skate shops that I really love that are destinations overseas. They're the hubs in the center of the community, if you like. That was what I wanted here. And pretty much like, you know, all the top skaters in the country just came, pitched in and started helping us build it without us asking or anything. Yeah, it's just an environment where everyone feels at home. It's, it's so central. This is, this is where everyone meets up. This is like the epicenter of, of skateboarding. Everyone hangs out here every day and for better or worse, you know? But that's what it is and that's cool. I like that. I mean, baseline, I mean, it's a skate store. There's hooligans in here. It's been skater-owned, operated since day one. There's a big difference between a skater-owned store and some skate store owned by some 50-year-old guy who's never been on a skateboard. Primarily, I mean, if you skate, you got to have shoes, so I mean, a lot of our business is shoes, so yeah. We try to bring in things you can't get anywhere else, especially why, like with the likes, and we do anti-hero and real, which you can't get anywhere else. Different, you know? Something unique, that's the point, yeah. I mean, with a lot of hard work and a lot of focus, but it's grown into what it is, also just by like us doing what we want to do. We are, at the end of the day, just purely rooted in skateboarding. We are here in Cape Town, the house band's venue. Space like this is, is, it's all about creative expression. Activations, music every night. We had workshops, we had a t-shirt printing workshop, we had a, a poster art workshop. Today is the final day of the House of Bands Cape Town. Uh, we had a skate event uh, outside the venue. And um, yeah, it's been a good day skating. We had cash for tricks for the skaters. It was a good vibe. And tonight we kick off into a, into a music event with the guys from Psych Night. Bands is a family, family business. The, the model was a family could go into this little shop and, and all kind of choose the, the shoes that they liked. So you could choose the fabric and the eyelets and the, the laces. It started out as a, as a deck shoe, like a, like a boating shoe. The, the actual waffle sole was kind of developed to kind of keep your grip. Um, but the skaters were like absolutely blown away with the construction and the materials of the shoes and they, they perfectly suited skateboarding. Yeah, so the waffle sole is the same as it's always been and it's still in our shoes that we made today. I think it's important that um, cities in Africa stand up and be counted. So we definitely wanted to have something here to, to kind of show the rest of the world like what we're capable of. And, and obviously we have an amazing country, amazing people. Since our nation um, became a new democracy, we're seeing a lot of new entrants into, into surfing and skating. Um, a lot of kids like just from all sorts of backgrounds getting into, into those two sports or ways of life. It's important, you know, uh, surfing and skateboarding was the best thing that ever happened to me and it's, uh, it's just amazing to be a part of that. I feel like after 21 years, obviously I'm not saying that everything's the way it should be, it's not at all, but in a sense everyone coming out of that period was so politically invested that like most of the energy went towards thinking, talking and being about political issues where now obviously people come from that still, but they're pushing their ideas into the realm of, of popular culture and because there's so much like real raw energy to draw from and there's so much to reference we've become very relevant and people are clearly watching us.